This video is going to be a continuation of yesterday's video. In yesterday's video, I used GPT 3.5 and I gave you a very simple keyword method using Google Ads Keyword Planner. In this video, we're going to take it one step further. We're going to turn it into an advanced method, but it's still going to be very simple. This is going to be using GPT 4 and it is going to be using Code Interpreter. If you don't have Code Interpreter turned on, click here, click on Settings. Click here and then make sure that Code Interpreter is turned on. So first of all, we need our data and also I've got an amazing prompt for you guys which will be in the description as usual. What you need first of all, you can do this in two ways like I talked about yesterday. First of all, you need to go on Google Ads and you need to click on Tools and then Keyword Planner. And then you need to change the country and location to whatever the hell you want. And then you can either start with keywords or start with a website. So let's say we're starting with keywords. Let's say men's suit, um, men's, no, uh, men's attire, men's outfit. You just have to write really, really broad terms here. Okay, this is how I, how I personally do this. Um, and then we can press get results. So this is one way to do this, and this is a pretty good way. You can press here, average monthly searches, and this will give you pretty much the same information that we're going to get from our competitor anyway. So if you don't want to find a competitor, just think of really, really broad terms in your niche, and then just put them inside here. In fact, let's just do it like this, because I, I, I'm just looking at this list now, and it's actually a really, really nice list. So the other way you can do it, just in case you want to know, is you can start with a website instead. So if you click start with a website here, you can put your competitor's website right here, and then you can get the keywords that way. But in this video, we're just gonna be using broad terms because I, I actually really, really like how that, how that works. So we're gonna click this time, instead of copying here, we're gonna click on download, and we're gonna download it as a CSV. Now, the reason that you have to watch this video instead of just doing this yourself is because I have tailored a prompt for this exact reason and it is quite complicated so i don't think i'm going to talk through the prompt i'll just leave it in the description you can find it as a google doc so making sure we're on gpt4 making sure you have code interpreter turned on you can just paste this prompt right here this piece of information at the bottom you can change this for the first few lines of your specific csv but it will most likely just work with what i have here as well this prompt is very specific. I really have tried a lot with this prompt. I've worked a lot on this prompt, so feel free to you know like and subscribe and all that stuff to say thank you. I never say that. Uh, with Code Interpreter, you have upload file options, so you can upload, go to your downloads, and um, add the CSV from before. Now we're just going to hit enter here, and we're going to let it do its magic. It keeps having, it keeps keeps doing this thing where it doesn't work immediately, but yeah, you just gotta let Code Interpreter work out what it has to do. And then once it's worked it out, it will give you some really, really nice results. And just while that's working, let's have a look at the article that I wrote today. So I wrote this here. This was a suggestion from uh, the, the process that I'm showing you right now. The Lounge Suit Dress Code, A Modern Guide to Attire. This is an article that I've never written. And I used my, um, you know, one of my standard prompts, which you can find in many, many of my videos. So if I go to my channel quickly, if you want to know how I write content, I'm currently doing it in two ways. That I'm doing it with prepping, and I'm doing it with with this video here, ChatGPT Mastery Writing SEO Content That Ranks. Uh, I would probably recommend using my prepping technique. So that's this video here. Stop prompt engineering. Do this instead. I'll leave both of those videos in the description if you want to watch them. But I'm not going to go through actually writing the content in this video. This is purely a way to do keyword research, but then not only do key keyword research, but then come up with a content plan using that keyword research. So what I want to show you is, because I find this really, really important, okay? There's a huge difference. What what ChatGPT does, if you say, uh, give me an article idea for suits, the first thing they're going to do, or it will do, they, it, it, it will give you uh, a complete guide to suits for men, right? But millions of people have written that article. So instead, what this method does is it gives you an actual idea for an article that is slightly different, and it's not just the bog standard 
ultimate guide to suits or the best suits or whatever, you can actually see what this does instead is it gives you ideas that maybe you haven't thought of or maybe are slightly different and you'll be surprised how well this content ranks, okay? So for example, for men's suits, you'd expect it to just give you the keyword or the content idea, best suits for men, ultimate guide to suits, okay? I've done this 100 times. If you run it 100 times on 3.5 or 4, without using this method, it will just give you a bog standard article. Instead, doing it this way, it gives you something much more interesting. Men's sport coats, this is an amazing article idea that I, ha I really have to write as soon as possible. And then here's another sport coat article, and you can see it's actually given me a completely different article. That's what I love here, okay? Not only is the keyword research done, it also gives you different ideas. And let's say men's suits, okay? Men's suits is obviously a good one. So first of all, you can say give, uh, once this is finished, you can say give me the next 25, for example, and it will give you another 25 ideas. Or what you can do is you can say, can you give me five more ideas for the keyword men's suits? Is it men's suits or men's suit? Men's suit. Okay, men's suit. I want five more ideas for men's suit. So what's it going to give me? It's going to give me suit fabrics, how to maintain and move with your suit, how to dress for a bar and also for the boardroom, the art of tailoring, color theory. That's five articles that have helped me build topical authority within the men's suit niche. And any of these, so a lot of people worry about using the same keyword more than once, okay? But men's suit is such a broad keyword. It doesn't matter if you write 50 articles about men's suits. What matters is which, kind of throwing as much at the wall and hoping something will stick. So I don't know which of these will rank for men's suit, okay? But if I write all five of them, I have a much higher chance of ranking for men's suit. And you might say keyword kind of, you know, whatever. I don't want to say that word in case it gets me demonetized. But keyword problems and five articles competing for the same keyword, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter, okay? You write this content. It's five different articles. It's five different topics. Google will rank them in five different ways. One of them might rank number one for men's suit. Unlikely, but possible. And one might never rank for the keyword men's suit. Okay, we don't know. So the best thing to do is to write as much content as possible. I'm going to say, give me another 25 key uh, examples. Oops, there's apples. <laughs> and what it'll do now is it will continue. No, not with men's suit. From the keyword list. Give me the next 25 keywords. So the thing I love about... Uh, the thing I love about Code Interpreter is that it... Even if it doesn't work the first time, it will keep generating, it will keep trying, it will keep fixing until everything works properly. And these titles are much better than the than topics. They're much better than the standard topics that you'll be given by ChatGPT. So what happened with the article that I wrote today? If I go on URL inspection, this is the article that I wrote today. It's already indexed on Google, which is super, super nice. Obviously, there won't be any impressions or anything like that just yet. So yeah, I basically said, give me the next 25 keywords. So this is just really building on topical authority. It says, would you like content ideas for these keywords as well? I say yes, and it will do exactly the same thing and it will keep building. And this is how you get some really, really good keywords, really good topical authority. I can tell you right now, as someone who's been working in this niche for almost two years, all of these just these like 15 keywords, they have a potential of 100,000 clicks a month, okay? If you have a lot of authority, if you write really, really good content, some of these keywords are huge, okay? And even if you just get a small 1% portion of that on a new domain, that's 1,000 clicks a month, okay? Thank you for watching. I really, really hope this helps. I'm really enjoying these keyword videos. If you want more keyword videos, let me know in the description and I'll keep them up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.